So, for all the technological advances for guys, no, no, sorry, for women, you know, in terms of cosmetic surgery, guys don't have anything even coming close to it. But it's really interesting that um, the, there's no conversation, or there is there is a lack of conversation, especially if you speak to a girl and you, you know, every guy has that occasion where you're a dating an attractive girl or you know someone that's attractive in your social group and one day you see them and they come out with no makeup, right? And the conventional thing all do say around the world is, oh my God, you look so pretty without the makeup. Why do you wear makeup? And the girl looks at you like you're speaking Chinese, like, what the fuck? Of course I'm going to wear makeup. Why wouldn't I? Then as a guy, you're like, I don't get it. Why would you put yourself through all that, all that trouble if you look hot coming straight out of the bathroom, right? But then what these girls eventually end up, or, or what you realize when you get older, let me just cover a little bit, what you realize when you get older is that, of course a girl would wear makeup. Imagine if you're attractive, right, already, you're, imagine, let's say you're a 6 out of 10 um, of attractive, so you're, in, you're above average, you're generally attracted to most dudes, or ju- most dudes f- generally find you attractive, and you add the makeup on top of it to kind of bump up your points a bit and make you an 8 out of 10, sometimes a 9, depending on what you wear, why wouldn't you do that, right? So there's common sense in it. But there's not co- really a conversation around some of the really nefarious and downright, you know, how would you call them? Conniving, lying, manipulative ways. Girls sometimes use makeup, clothing to hide the deficiencies that they're afraid of showing people on the first you know, time they meet them. Especially the girl that's like looking to hook up with somebody or the girl that's, you know, on the first date wanting to impress the dude, whatever it may be. And one of the things that's really nefarious or something that really kind of bugs me, and I'm, I'm surprised no one really speaks about it too often, is is this crazy shit, right? These waist shape of body things that girls tend to wear, which are insane. Essentially, there it's a corset type thing, which I've got here on screen, that essentially hides all your fat and makes you look slimmer than what you actually are, which is insane, right? Because you're not that slim. So it's this sock thing that you pull up over your waist and it sucks in all the fat immediately. It's absolutely ridiculous that this is actually this thing actually exists. It makes no sense. How does this thing actually exist? So you're going out with somebody, you think they look one way, but effectively they look a complete other way. And it's and again, guys don't have anything similar to this. We don't have anything similar. And one thing that's maybe I don't know close or similar to that is this new story I saw the other day about incels reconstructing their faces in order to look attractive, right? But it got me thinking. All right, cool. These incels are you know, reconstructing their faces or let's say dudes that are, you know, have absolutely no hope of attracting women, uh, you know, in any other way unless they kind of somehow physically enhance themselves by some way, shape or form. That's all well and good. Um, but it's just so much work in order to kind of get a mate, right? And guys, the only options that we do have is dressing better and working out, right? That's the only thing we have. We can get really ripped and we can basically wear better outfits. Maybe get a trendier haircut. That might help. Maybe a beard. There are studies that show, you know, beards kind of improve a guy's attractiveness by a lot, right? Most women tend to like guys with beards. There are girls out there who kind of get put up by the beard and the idea of kind of kissing somebody with hell love their lips isn't necessarily something that they're into. But for the most part, you know, if if you carry it off well and because it's rare to find a guy that's got a big beard that doesn't dress well, right? Usually guys that have beards kind of use the beard as part of their outfit. It's sort of like a hat, right? It's sort of like the facial hat thing. So you kind of make it work. So you have like, you know, you fade in your, your size like I have. You might have some funny top thing, you know, um, that you gel up and shit. You might wear rings or you got some jewelry shit. You might have a cool jacket or a waistcoat. You might have one of those scarves that French guys wear that don't necessarily keep your neck warm, but just look good, right? <laughs> yeah. And then when you're in a date, you can kind of swing that thing around her neck and pull her in for a kiss or romantic like on a movie. Obviously do it when she's consenting. Don't do it when she's not because that would turn awkward. There's always weird things that, you know, guys can do, but girls for the most part can go all the way. Imagine, imagine a guy got a waist trainer, right? A, a body shaper and then pulled out, you know, they hooked up with somebody, got back to their room and then suddenly started derobing and he started taking off this fucking sock thing that made him look less slimmer. Imagine what a girl would think, like, what? Already girls get, imagine that, you know those guys in Brazil that get those things injected in their arm to make their arms look bigger. You see those things? Those are insane. Um, was it Brazil? Um, muscle thing i don't know it's just like a weird injection that they get right yeah you see you see this right <laughs> if a, if imagine uh, for the ladies out there i'm not sure i probably don't have that many lady listeners but for any lady out there must stumble upon this video please tell me would you ever in a million years date a guy that does this right and it's strange because a guy like uh, the pictures i'm showing on screens are these brazilian dudes who pump um this weird injections into their arm to make them look like they've actually got biceps when they don't it's a bizarre thing, a bizarre trend, but it only seems to exist in Brazil. I'm not sure why it's a thing there. Um, hmm. 
I guess it's a thing there because naturally, because of the climate and because of their disposition to be a little bit, you know, sexually free, um, most of most of Brazilians are, you know, quote unquote attractive to most people. Um, um, they have beaches and shit, so everyone's on the beach. Hot climate, everyone's usually got. No, they're not wearing that much, right? Shorts, vest, or whatever, maybe. And I remember there was a friend of ours in our social group who used to say, uh, this girl who used to say, um, she used to feel a lot of, uh, but she, has, she had a lot of body dysmorphia, right? She was a, a really attractive girl. She looks after herself really well, but she used to never really rate herself too much. And I remember once we had like a really good sit down with her, really started speaking, like, what's the deal with this? And she basically revealed that um, in her, in Brazil, in with her family, extended family, especially amongst the women, because, you know, it's usually in those kind of, you know, um, patriarchal societies, the men and women tend to like separate when they come to house parties and generally most places, isn't it, right? The women tend to like go off in their own little corner and gossip and the guys tend to like go off in their own corner and start beating their chest and it's all kind of, you know, the the, the conventional um, gender roles are really kind of evident in those kind of house parties and usually within the women's circle, whenever a daughter or a niece or one of the young little girls comes into the room, the first thing that all the girls or the other ladies in the room are analysing oh, is their body, what they're wearing, Right. And the immediate and a sign that you're doing well or that you're, you know, people think well of you in a group is that they'll refer to you and say, oh, wow, look how much weight you've lost. You look so skinny, look amazing, right? And um, the opposite would be them not, not saying that, right? And then just kind of talking to you in general and you know for sure people think you've got gained some weight. So there's always pressure, not only on the beach, when you're on the beach, you know, you're running around and there's probably hundreds of, hundred versions of G Giselle um, running down the beach, you know, looking amazing. So you've got the pressure just around you and then and you've got the pressure of your family asking you or like, you know, insinuating that you should lose some weight or that you look brilliant because you're skinny and you've gone through, I don't know. They have no idea what you've been through. You might have been shitting out your ass for the last six hours, but all of a sudden because you've turned up with your cheeks sucked in and you've got that little, you know, V showing on your on your pelvis, they think you look amazing. But yeah, this Brazilian thing is, again, really crazy. I think most women, if they saw this, wouldn't want to probably date a guy look like this. I don't think they would. Whether or not a woman would actually know that this thing is fake, Eve, I don't know. It's a thing that only a guy would know was fake, right? But this looks ridiculously fake. It's no way you know this is real. So they do that and then go to the gym. It's insane, right? Insane. They look fucking ridiculous. There's no That doesn't even look real. It looks fucking bizarre. He looks much better on the left-hand side here than he does on the left. It's sort of essentially like pumping this weird gel into your arms, making yourself look bigger. Again, I'm sure there's really bad health risks to it. But again... If a girl says, I wouldn't date that guy. Nah, he looks awful, man. Okay, cool. No problem. But then, is there any different to a girl getting a body shape and somehow sucking in all her fat? And a guy is different, right? Because you're adding mass onto your arms so it makes yourself look bigger. But for a girl, essentially what you want is to have that hourglass, hourglass figure, right? That's sort of number eight, right? Kind of tiny at the top and kind of big as it's going down. So all you need to do is really get a body shaper right to slim that waist and suck it in and make it really slim and have that amazing you know those girls on instagram that have those weird really um photoshop kind of curvature on the side it doesn't make any sort of sense right there's no there's never a roll there's never anything so it's just kind of extremely flat have that and then you know have a push-up bra to bring the bosoms right under your chin and you're set basically and it doesn't really matter anything else no one else is looking at that but for a dude what can you do you could potentially get a body slimmer, but you know, guys aren't really trying to look skinny, really, are they? They're trying to look bigger. Or they're trying to look um, athletic or trim, really, is it? Yeah, guys, I don't think guys want to look skinny. That's the difference, I think, probably with women. Women want to look skinnier or slimmer, and guys just want to look athletic, I think, for the most part. I think most guys would want a footballer's body, right? So, but yeah, I don't know. It, it, it just got me thinking, man. Like, you know, the lack of conversation with that. You know, you have girls on YouTube doing makeup tutorials where they're adding, you know, fake cheekbones to their, you know, chubby faces and shit and making themselves look much slimmer in their face. You're like, oh, you're lying. That's a lie, right? You don't actually look like that at all. You know, guys, what can, what can I do? I can just get a haircut. That's it. Get a haircut. Moisturize my face more, but no one's going to be able to tell, you know. I could get tattoos, but I'm too dark. No one will tell I have a tattoo. It just look like I've got fucking eczema, right? It does nothing. I've got nothing. All I can do is just work out and walk around my top. That's why, you know what? That's why those guys that walk around in festivals with their tops off all the time, everyone's like, oh, man, those guys are idiots or losers, jocks or Joe, whatever it is. No, don't blame them, right? Don't blame them. Don't blame those guys that walk around in festivals with their tops. Let's fucking find one. They walk around the festivals with their tops off. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Because what else can they do? What else can they do in order to kind of get some female attention and to kind of have all eyes on them? If I work, if I've been eating chicken and rice, right, for six months, to close to a year, and go to a gym twice a day, 
I'm going to take my top off during the festival. Because what's the point of working out if I can't flex and show you my washboard abs or show you my eight pack? What's the point? Hey, what's the point? And you want to point it was, oh, how, you do it? how else am I going to show that I'm ripped? <sighs> crazy world we live in. Crazy, crazy world. Anyway.